All right. So the the two choices are that it is in NP and it is NP hard. So it is NP complete. Four colorability is NP complete. And the reasons are, well, so this one's true. We can, in fact, quickly verify a certificate that lists the color assignments. We actually did that in general already earlier in the unit. So, um, so yeah, four colorability is definitely in NP. It's not necessarily in NP because the number of colors is bigger. Well, no, this, the first argument is the correct one. It's not necessarily NP hard because having four colors to work with makes things easier. That is kind of true. It, it, four colors does give you a little bit more slack, and there's things that you can four color that you can't three color. But this argument is less compelling than the next argument that says that it is NP hard, and the reason for that is because a solution to four colorability solves three colorability. So if you give me a, a graph and say, uh, is this three colorable? And to help you out, I'll give you an algorithm for solving four colorability. All I need to do is add a node to that graph, connect that node to every other node in the graph. That means that that new node is gonna have to have a different color than everything else in the graph. And now you say, okay, is this graph four colorable? And if it is four colorable, then the color for this newly added node will be different from all the other ones, so the rest of the graph has been three colored. So we've actually solved three colorability. And that's why uh, knowing that three colorability is NP hard tells us four colorability is NP hard. And um, no, no, since, all, since any graph that is three colorable is four colorable, that's true. That doesn't make them equivalent because it would also have to go the other way. Every four colorable graph would also have to be three colorable, and that's just not true. So this is actually the proof that four colorability is NP complete.